I knew that these were a bolo. You can sell them even um, if they're out of the packaging, but obviously these sold for more because they are still sealed. They're vintage from 2000. She got these um, from a high bid auction, so pennies in them and took a best offer. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. I am featuring the Rebel reseller, and she is incredible. I am going to feature her big money Bolos. I'm going to tell you where she got it, what she paid for it, and what it sold for. And oh my goodness, some of these are just I'm like, what? You are definitely going to learn from this video. Let's get started. Here is her YouTube channel, The Rebel Reseller. She also has The Rebel Reseller Hangout, um, where she posts videos of items, like testing her items. But she also does her live shows over there. So make sure you subscribe to that as well. I will link it down below. All right. So the first item she sold is this Waterford tree. And she picked these up at a bulk buy and she paid about $6 a piece for these. You guys, she didn't only sell one, but she sold three. These are made in Germany. Uh, this one, I believe, sold for $149.95. This one, I believe, is uh, $135. It's red. Or this one sold for $135. It's clear. But I believe they all three sold for over hundred dollars so definitely be on the lookout for these i only asked her for info on one so the one i asked her for was striked out so 135 for one of the striked out ones and i believe the green went for the full asking price so an incredible find three of them six bucks each wow that is just some big money right there and they're only six and a half inches tall the next item is this Honda jacket. She paid 20 for this at a yard sale. And I say she, but her and her husband do this together, Robert. And they are incredible. He is behind the scenes. You will hear him talking in her videos. Um, they do a fantastic job. So uh, definitely credit to him also. Shout out, Robert. Um, so paid $20 at a yard sale and sold this for $125. It is a Honda Classic motorcycle bomber jacket men's size large maroon this is an excalibur food dehydrator and it says four tray and it works and i know that um the rebel reseller mostly they focus on plush but they have really been branching out and that's really what i want to show you guys today they are just not plush sellers um they sell lots of other things too, but specialize in plush. So this dehydrator thing, um, they paid $5 at an estate sale. And this they took a best offer of $44 on this. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Rite Aid porcelain house. These are resin figures. Uh, Crockett Farm Fall. Uh, I don't know that I would have picked these up because uh, they're just little resin figures. Here's what they look like on the bottom. They're from Rite Aid. I know that um, the Rebel reseller, Rebel, always says, you know, like the plush that are from Walmart and Target and their exclusives, Walgreens, she always picks those up because they're harder to find and people are always looking for them. So this may be her same mindset for this Rite Aid, excuse me, this Rite Aid exclusive. She paid about $5 for this at an estate sale and it sold for $45 plus shipping. These are the Disney Space Buddies dogs, and they are super cute. She got these at an estate sale. She paid $6 for them, and they sold for $71.95 plus shipping. Miss Piggy. This is a Dakin plush. It's um, a stuffed animal, and one thing that I always recommend is putting plush and stuffed animal both into the title. She also used toy in addition to that. I do that sometimes. It really just depends on how many uh, characters I have and the best use of those characters. Uh, what I say is I feel like resellers, we search the word plush, and I feel like people that are searching for plush and stuffed animals for their kids, they're probably going to search the word stuffed animal. So that is just a little tip. 
She got this for $1. She can't remember where. And she sold it for $52.16 plus shipping. This one right here, I love it. It's Kids Preferred. And here is the tag. And this is just a little bunny rabbit plush. It says Sweet Dreams. And it's from 2003. And kids lose these items or people are looking for an item that they had during their childhood to give to their child or many, many different reasons that people want vintage and retired plush. It is definitely a hot seller. Sometimes the items are long tail, but they will sell eventually. She got this for a buck and sold it for $53.95. And again, she doesn't remember where she got it. This is a Xylus cheese grater garlic press lot. So this is what it looks like. All of these little items. It's kind of a bundle deal here. Was in a bulk buy at a yard sale. So maybe about $5. And she sold this for a best offer of $35 plus shipping. These are brass graduated candlestick holders. And these came from an estate sale about $3. And she sold these for $44 plus shipping. Bonsai Techniques, John Yoshio, Naka signed inscribed paperback book. This is incredible. And I always pass by the books. And every time I see a book like this, I'm like, Courtney, you've got to start looking at the books. Oh, my goodness. She got this for $2 at an estate sale and sold it for $200 plus shipping. The Great Awakening. I'm sorry, the Great Awakening, not the Great Awakening, GE Great Awakening programmable clock. <laughs> and it's a radio. Oh my goodness. Sorry, you guys. Paid $5 on half off day at an estate sale and sold it for $174.75 plus shipping. These are a pair of pointer brand men's overalls. They look vintage to me, but I, um, I think they're vintage. Yeah, made in the USA. So definitely vintage. They got these at an estate sale for $3, took a best offer of $40 on those, plus shipping. And I recently went to um, a flea market locally, and it looks like, from what I'm seeing, at least in our area, that these old baggy bibs, like women are wearing these, and I guess that's trending right now. Is that like a thing everywhere or just maybe like in my local area? Let me know down in the comments if you know. This is an Expressions Raccoon Red Panda plush. And this one, she says she cannot remember where she got it. Might have been in a Goodwill Benz blue box. And she sold this for a best offer of $42 plus shipping. The next item are these Gat women's jeans. This is what they look like on the inside. I think, yeah, they're wide leg skater jeans. And apparently these are a bolo because check it out, $2 at a yard sale and sold these for $80 plus shipping. The next item are these Harlequin uh, romance books. It's a huge lot. Look at all these. Oh my goodness. Wow. That would not be fun to ship. Now, um, she did charge economy shipping, which means they shipped media mail. It says free at a yard sale, sold for $78. The buyer also bought another lot for $60. So this bought lot sold for $78. And this one sold for $60 to the same um, buyer. So Yvonne Lindsay. And these are like those uh, romance novels. And this is by... Oh, wait. I was thinking that was the author, but maybe not. Because they all have different names down the sides. Yeah, all different names. So there you go. Har Harlequin Books. <laughs> Bolo. Bonsai, another bonsai book. Oh my goodness. These are incredible. $2 at an estate sale. Same one that the other bonsai book came from. Sold for $91.95. Wow. Let me know in the comments if you would have picked up the bonsai book. This here is a Norpro Sauce Master Food Strainer. And this one, they paid about $6 for it in a state sale and took a best offer of $40 plus shipping on that. All right, Lisa Frank. If you guys don't know about Lisa Frank, definitely be on the lookout. Okay, so um, capital L, capital F typically means that the item is vintage. If you see lowercase L, lowercase F, those items are probably considered retired now, but probably not vintage. Now they have come back out 
with new items that are Lisa Frank, and they're using the big L and the big F again. This is what I have been told. Um, so be careful that you don't mix up the vintage and the brand new items currently being sold in the stores. This one right here is a rainbow chaser. And let's look at the tag here. It is capital L, capital F. Um, I'm not sure if this one is vintage or not. Um, it doesn't specify. It is big L, big F, but not 100% sure. But either way, this one was a bolo. It is a big plush horse. It's 23 inches long. She got this from a yard sale and a uh, bulk buy. So about 2 to $3 for this. And it sold for $49 on best offer. She also sold this Lisa Frank, Hunter the Leopard. And you can see the face here. It's multicolor. This one looks more vintage to me. I was going to see if I could find the tag. But again, I just have no idea um, if it's just retired or vintage. I was trying to find the actual tag. I don't see the tush tag on this one. This one she sold for $82.75. So definitely got more for the leopard. And this one is 24 inches big. So uh, 24 inches big, 24 inches long. This is a, oh boy, Rosenthal Netter Blue Raised Flowers Canister Jar Covered Dish Ashtray. And... This is what it looks like. There's the little, um, oh, wow. It's got like felt on the bottom and you can see it underneath. It uh, looks like it's made in Italy. Very cool item. Paid about $8 for this at an estate sale. Took a best offer of $65. This is an Xbox 360 NCAA football game. And she said she was looking for a box to ship a large item. This box had her kids' old video games in it. And they needed that size box. So she pulled everything out and this game was in it. So um, this was a personal item. Sold it for $89.95 plus shipping. This is a uh, Unita or Unita. I'm not sure how to say it. It's a pretty baby doll from 1987. Brown hair and eyes. And she said she can't remember where she got it, but she ended up selling it for $60. And one thing that she did say that she does is she will put the hair color and the eyes in the title and in the item specifics because she feels like people search for those keywords. So that is definitely a great tip and something that I don't normally do. So keep that in mind. Look at her cute face. The next item are these McDonald's Collector Series glass tumblers, lot of six. These came from an estate sale, paid $10 for these and sold them for $55.15 plus shipping. The next item are these Ugg Kensington um, Moto Biker Boots. They are women's size eight. These came from a yard sale for $5, which is a fantastic buy, and sold them for $54.95 plus shipping. The next item is this Disney Animal Kingdom Crossbody Slingback. And I was trying to see where it says Disney. It must be down on this little patch right here. So there you go. That's what makes it special. All right, $2 at a yard sale and sold it for 50. The next item is this Doobie Brothers, Warner Brothers 1971 promo uh, white label record. She said, picked up at an estate sale for $2. We didn't realize most of the records were white label until later when I was doing research. Sold for $71.99, big regret not buying more. I don't know what white label means. If anybody wants to pop that information down into the comments, that would be amazing. But um, wow, what a great, what a great find. This is a Squishmallows Hershey's Kisses Rabbit Bubbles Plush. And it is uh, a bulk buy. So she paid about $6 for this and sold this for a best offer of $50. Also over on Rebel's channel, you can find videos where she does um, category videos on particular plush. So she'll like the most recent one she did was Folkmanis and she shows you all the Folkmanis puppets that sell for big money. So it's a great way to learn and um, really uh, get an idea of which plush items are going for big money. The next item are these Kodak Colorkins plush and there's three here. Got the original little coupon and paperwork. Super cool. I actually just found one of these in red at the Goodwill Bins. And I have that listed in my eBay store. Mine is a bread and butter. I think what 
made this go for more is that she had all three. They're with tags. They got the vintage advertising. Super cool item. She got this at a high bid online auction. She had pennies in them and sold them for a best offer of $35 plus shipping. These Sears Roebuck Neil Frog canister set. And these are from 1976. And these are just, they're just so cute. And she got these at a yard sale for $5. One was damaged, took a best offer of $40 on those. And the buyer paid shipping. This is Lego building blocks. These are just parts and pieces. She has pulled out all of the minifigures and she's selling them like this. It says bought at Savers while traveling. So Savers is a thrift store. Tons of minifigures, which is what I bought them for. Paid about $8 per bag. These are just the blocks sold for a best offer of $38 plus shipping. This is a Coldwater Creek women's uh, like bib style dress with a little jacket. I don't know if this is vintage or not. It kind of looks like it's velour. So kind of kind of surprised here that this sold, but it did. She got this at a church sale for $2 and it sold for a best offer of 27 plus shipping. So you guys with clothing, everybody has their own unique style and every everything sells, you know? So when you can find unique and different items like this, there's gonna be somebody looking for it. Plus it's a great size, it's a 1X. This is a Fisher Price Little People Garage Vintage. Paid $10 at an estate sale for this. It had accessories, which she parted out and sold separately. This here, just uh, the vintage garage sold for a best offer of $40 plus shipping. These are Kirk Halloween die cut wall decorations. Lot of six Wolfman, uh, Dracula. There's a skeleton and a witch. Uh, these are die cuts, Halloween de decorations. Purchased at an estate sale in a big bag with other occasion with other occasion die cuts that are listed separately. Paid $3 for all of them. Sold for $64.95 plus shipping. Heartline Crayola Blue Rabbit Plush. This is from 1988. Benny Smith Stuffed Animal. Got this at on a high bid auction last year. So pennies in it and sold for a best offer of 45 plus shipping. This here is a white monkey hand puppet. It's um, 29 inches. It says Native Art Trading Company Stuffed Animal Toy. This one came from, it does not say, but she paid approximately a dollar for it and sold it for $44.60 plus shipping. This is a reborn mermaid doll and uh, it, it's different. It's got a mermaid body. <laughs> I've never seen a reborn ball, uh, doll like this, but the reborns can typically do pretty good. Uh, this one does have some wear to it. She said she got it free from a lady at a yard sale. The lady at the yard sale said it was creepy and just wanted it gone. Um, she said, uh, offered it free if I would just take it. So how funny is that? She sold on auction to one of her viewers for $39.99 plus shipping. The next item are these Fisher Price Snap and Style Minnie Mouse dress up clothes and accessories. I typically lot these up as well. Uh, she got these at a consignment sale for about five bucks and sold for $44.95 plus shipping. This is a vintage Telco Christmas motionette animated elf jester boy. Got this at an estate sale for $3 and sold it for $42.50 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. These are groovy girls, which makes me think of the video. Um, it was a Goodwill Benz video that I watched by Dumpster Diva. And she found a whole bunch of the groovy girls in the Goodwill Benz. Definitely check out Dumpster Diva if you haven't already. She's incredible. But these groovy girls, uh, she got free from a friend who was moving and she sold these for $46.50 plus shipping. And they've got the extra clothes and they're just little dolls. So plush stuffed dolls. This is awesome. It is a, I have no idea how to say it, Bolslowakic. Slowakic. I don't know. Stoneware rolling pin. It's ceramic. It's very, very cool. She got this at a yard sale for $3 and sold it for $45.95 plus shipping. A Christmas Bear Plush Musical Medley Stuffed Animal Toy. This one came from, she's not sure, but paid about a dollar for it and sold it for $42.70 plus shipping. These, I love this one. They are the Subway Powerpuff Girls. And I knew that these were a bolo. You can sell them even um, if they're out of the packaging 
but obviously these sold for more because they are still sealed. They're vintage from 2000. She got these um, from a high bid auction. So pennies in them and took a best offer of $40 plus shipping. So Subway toys do pretty good because Subway, I don't know, uh, McDonald's, Burger King, they all, Wendy's, they all have toys. The Subway, look them up if you see them. The next item is this Lincoln Logs Building Set Railroad Track and Car. So here it is. This is for Lincoln Logs. So the logs are not included. So this is a replacement. Paid $3 for a large box and broke it up into four lots. These tracks sold for a best offer of $30. All right, you guys, if you want to go in and check out what else the Rebel reseller is selling, um, I will link their uh, store down in the description of the video. I just sold one of these guys. I'm surprised they didn't buy hers because actually mine sold on Poshmark. But hers in much better condition and it's got the little outfit. Mine was just plain. And I think mine sold for $12, I want to say, over on Poshmark. So um, definitely be on the lookout for that one. It's a bread and butter. But you can see she sells tons and tons of plush. Love, love, love her store. But as you can see, she is also branching out. I should say they are also branching out and selling more clothing and hard good items. So definitely check out her store to see what else they have listed. I will link it down in the description of the video. And um, her channel is fantastic. She's getting really close to 7,000 subscribers. So definitely go and subscribe to her channel. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Be sure to go and subscribe to The Rebel Reseller. Check out both her channels. They are linked down below along with her store. And let me know what your favorite bolo was. And thanks for watching.